Hey guys, it's iPhone iPod Reviewer here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to jailbreak on the new 3.1.3 through Snowbreeze. Alright, but um, the only first thing you need to do is it only runs on a Windows, unfortunately, sorry guys. But the first thing you need to have, is you need to be on a jailbroken firmware. As you can see, I'm on 3.1.2, and just to show you another picture, it's moving. Alright, and um... So I'm on 3.1.2, it must be jailbroken, it works with the iPhone 3GS, old boot ROM, non-MC model, but all that stuff works in the red snow, I'm going to be showing you on here, through expert mode. Now what you have to be, is you have to have it already downloaded, um, I'll give you a link in the description to where it is, and just save it to your desktop or something like I have. Open it. And uh, if you guys aren't already jailbroken, I'll give you a link to another video. I don't know if it works. I think it does work on, on jailbroken, but I'm jailbroken, so I know it works. Now, you, um, I'm clicking general. I'm sorry, I probably should have told you about that. General. Make it 1,000 megabytes is what I like to do for my root partition. Just what I like to do, so I make sure it's nice and big. and I don't, don't say, oh, you're running out of room or anything. Make a non, a non only. A nor only, sorry. It just means you can have custom boot logos and you can boot in Varbos boot. And you just click on that and it does it already by yourself. But um, if you're on an iPhone, it will say to unlock. And I'm just going to go to the next one. You can't untick Cydia, which you always get. You can untick Rock and you can take Rock. Whatever you would like. I personally don't like Rock, so I'm going to leave Rock alone. And sorry if I'm going a little fast, guys. It's because I only have 10 minutes and this kind of takes a little bit of time. Manage sources, you can add your own custom sources. Um, just type in the URL, like Cydia.Hackulo. Download packages. You can just, here I'll do it with I Hate Snow. And uh, let it load, refresh. And we'll do the Snow Breeze app, which you automatically always get, but I'll hit download anyway. And then tick Snow Breeze, or untick it, whatever you'd like. I'm going to leave it checked because I'm going to get it anyway. Custom boot logos, custom restore logos. Check it if you want. Check it if you don't want it. Whatever you'd like. It must be have one transparent pixel, so you have to make the background transparent. So like here, it's probably all transparent. Um, under It must be under uh, 100 kilobytes. And the P uh, PNG has to be 32 by 48. That's the uh, diameter. Now I'm going to click next, and general is what I clicked. If you have the respected ones, you can do unlock, which I don't, because I'm on an iPod Touch. But um, when you're ready, click the build IPSW, which I am. Click the next button, and let it load. While you're getting ready, you're going to want to make sure you have iTunes open. And I'm, it's not up, so you can't see what my serial is. But um, back your iPod up. Do whatever you'd like, let it load, and uh, while it's going, I'm just gonna clear the trash. I don't like having that there, but um, get everything ready for you, let it all load everything. But uh, I will have a video, I will have a just video in the description to showing you how to jailbreak on well, all the respected jailbreaks for 3.1.2 and uh, by Dino Zambas, and he'll have all of his links in there to his videos and everything. All three of his videos through Black Rain, um, Snow Breeze, and what's the other one? Red Snow. But if you wanna, if you really know about the um, non nor, uh, the nor only, you can just leave that alone, and you, that's what Red Snow's for. So it makes it easier. Just let this load. I know it's taking some time. There we go. does take some time to do it. It is a very big file. I mean, I will right click on this one and see how big it comes up. I think it's like 3 gig or something. It's kind of a big file. See, it's trying to load it right now. It's trying to figure everything out. Also, I'm on a partition. That's how I do it on a Mac, guys. So if you don't have a Mac, if you have a Mac, you can always do a partition of the drive, which currently I'm doing. It's probably the easiest way. See, it even has open a Mac, which is pretty nice. But, um, properties, well, this is loading. If you have any questions, just put them in the comments below. Um, and all that stuff. Oh, it's only, it's only that much? 
thought it was more. Whatever, it's still a big file, so it's creating it right now. And, um, yeah. It's kind of a big file, so make sure your iPod's ready. Um, back it up. If you have themes on it that you want to save, copy them, save them, paste them, whatever. Back them up. And, uh, make sure all your stuff is ready. But it will tell you how to do it, like, in DFU mode, which I'm not going to try because I don't want to screw anything up. So just let it go. It's just taking a long time. When it's done, it'll just tell you. I'm actually just going to get started. To uh, put it in, you have to put it inside of the restore mode, which is very easy. Just turn it off. I know I don't have anything open to show you. But turn your iPod off, or iPhone, or whatever you're using. Hold down the home and power button until it turns on, and just keep holding it. And there it goes. If your iPod Touch first generation is already jailbroken, yes, no. Um, yes will tell you, just go into, D, uh, go into the DFU mode. Yes will just tell you, put it in restore mode, sorry. And then hold shift and do that in DFU mode. Power on and off. Oh, whoops. Oh. I think we have the DFU mode up there. Start power on off. Press the home button and power button. And it says my iPod's in recovery mode. And then it tells you how to do it and it counts down for you. You can just watch that on yours. It's very simple. Um, iTunes. I, for Mac, it's com uh, command, I believe. Wait, no, sorry, it's control. I'm confused. It's always so it's so confusing on a Mac. On a PC, it's just shift. It's very simple. Um, my snow breeze right there. It's in my downloads. For, uh, I don't know why it always does that. Just let it update, and uh, I'll get back to you when it's done. All that stuff. All right, guys. I'm still doing the jailbreak. Um... Where is it? Verifications, it's almost done. Uh, I just wanted to show you that I didn't do anything different to it. It's still being jailbroken. Uh, yeah. So, just let that load basically. Yeah. Sorry, I'm trying to hold this in front of the eyesight camera. It's kind of bright in here. But, um, it's basically that. You gotta just let that load a little bit. For some reason it's taking some time. I know I'm just keep repeating it, it's not myself, but I want to show you that it does work. Yeah. You can see. It's kind of taking some, taking its sweet time. All right, there you go. Now it's going to restart. Well, the restart won't be forever. You, last time it took me five minutes to restart. If so, there'll be a cut right about here to a jump. So basically, it will jump in the picture. Alright, hey guys. Uh, I'm finally done. I got everything. And uh, there we go. Opening up Cydia. Just to show you that it does work, I will open up right after. See, it says uh, recognizing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you guys have any problems or anything, then respringing. Uh, if you have any problems, post them in the comments. Um, I may be able to help you. I might even do a video on how to do the uh, jailbreak for new for the old. My dog sounds like a pig. For the um with the red snow and the little um stuffy that way. But let me just open up. Bring Crystal. Go away. Alright. Uh, general. About and let me just kind of pull that down. Hand over the bottom. It's, it's eleven kind of hard to thirty. Read it backwards. All right. Eh. Eh. Whatever. You guys really can't see that anyway. Three point one point three. I'm sorry. It's backwards. It's a problem with. Um. Actually, I know how to fix that. Guys, don't have much time. It says 3.1.3 right there. Rate, comment, subscribe, guys.